Open stance just slightly from the left side, and the pitch is grounded sharply through the right side, a base hit into right field. And the white and blue caps as well. Another 3-2, and Hancock with a bounder over the mound out towards second. Skull circles behind it, but he can't field it cleanly. Everybody will be safe. Throw to third, and getting back to the bag there is Allen after taking a wide turn. The 0-2, tipped into the mint of Lott, and it's held on for strike three. The 1-1. And the Brewer hits it in the air out towards center field. It's down for a base hit, and Mississippi State will strike first. Allen comes in to score. It's a two-out RBI single for DeBruyne. Glove. And he fires in a 1-2, which is cut on and missed for strike three. From Mississippi is the pitch. Skull swings and misses at a fastball up at 92 for strike three. 1-2-3 two, start to his night. Two-strike offering. And Brown chases another dirt ball for strike three. Hancock will flip it on to first to complete the strikeout. And Cade Smith has a 1-2-3 first inning. The 2-0 pitch. Forsyth scoops it out towards second. Over Skull's head and into right field for the base knock. Up to third goes Clark. He took a wide turn but had a step on the brakes as McCarthy gets it in quick. The 1-1. That's hit high in the air to right field. But playable for McCarthy who ranges into the gap, will be the center fielder Brown to take charge. He makes the catch, runner tags from third, the throw is cut off, and it's a sacrifice fly for Rowdy Jordan as Mississippi State takes a 2-0 lead. At the top of the order in Rowdy Jordan and Tanner Allen. The 1-1 pitch is clobbered out to right field, sending McCarthy back towards the fence, and he will pull up in front of the wall and make the catch in right field on the warning track to retire Allen. The 1-1 is lined right back where it came from into center field, and Jones is aboard with the leadoff single. Jones sets and fires, and the pitch is a hopper to the left side of the infield. Scooped on one hop by Leggett at third, gets the out at second, relay to first in time, nicely turned. 3-1. Down and away, ball four, and the first two men draw walks here. In the top of the third for Mississippi State, Logan Tanner is aboard. And here's Brad Cumbis. As the first pitch is lined the other way, a base hit into right field. That scores a run. Here comes Tanner around from second. He'll beat the throw to the plate. And it's a two RBI single for Brant Cumbus as Mississippi State doubles their lead. As the payoff pitch runner goes, pitch misses off the plate, the throw down to second. Runner slides in ahead of the tag. The batter struck out on the appeal to the third base up. Zach Neff punches out Callum Clark. And his first pitch on the way as that's hit in the air by Tanner Leggett over towards third. Behind the bag is Baldala, creeps into foul territory, and right next to the chalk makes the catch. Smith rises and fires, and the 2-2 is swung on and missed for strike three by O'Brien. Some more Orioles in quite some time. Pitch misses. No, it's a called strike three on the outside corner. Forsyth goes down looking. As the 2-0 pitch is bounded sharply to second. Skull has it, flips to second, relay to first in plenty of time. It's an inning-inning double play. Payoff pitch, and Skull chases strike three off the plate. He extended and followed what would have been ball four, so a pair of strikeouts for Tilo tonight. And the right-hander's 2-2 pitch to McCarthy. is Hit into right field, a base hit. Rolling into the corner all the way to the fence for McCarthy. He has good speed. Turns the corner at second. He's thinking three. Throw to the infield as well late, and McCarthy dives into third with the one-out triple. And the 0-2. That skips in the dirt, kicking off of Hancock and rolling to the backstop. Hancock can't find it. McCarthy will come home easily. Pitch to Brown. He chases strike three off the plate. Kicks off of Hancock's glove. He's got to go track it down to the left of the batter circle. And Hancock is able to fire it onto first base in time to retire Brown for strike three. Tonight, Mitchell back at first. The 2-2. Two -two. And Jones swings through strike three. Warm lately. As the 1-2 pitch is bounced past Skull at second out into right center field for a base hit. McCarthy cuts it off and gets it back in quickly, but Hancock has a leadoff single. It's a bit of a tough pass ball for him. As the 3-0 is drilled out towards left field, back by the line score. Simpson back at the wall, looking up, and it's gone. A home run for Logan Tanner, his ninth of the year. 
to right field that looked like they had a chance to get out of here and instead were knocked down by the wind. This one off the bat looked like a no doubter and it turned out to be. And the pitch. That's hammered out towards left field. High into the sky and over the line score. A no doubt home run for Brad Cumbus who homers for the second straight game. Drilled even further than the Logan Tanner home run. A clear no doubter off the bat. Went rising into the sky and wears number 11 on the back of the jersey as he goes after the 1-0, skying it to center field and deep. Going back is Brown. He'll have to play it off the base of the fence. Just to the left of the batter's eye in left center field. Clark almost hit one out of here. The pitch and Forsyth grounds it over the mound to the center of the diamond. O'Brien sliding at short, boxes it around. The ball rolls into center field. And Clark will score, Forsyth will reach. Mississippi State leads 9-1. First pitch swinging is Jordan, and he hits it the other way to left field. Going back is Simpson, and he has to play it off the wall in left field. Into second goes Jordan, up to third goes Forsyth. That ball carrying off the bat, and the 0-1. That's bounced off of home, back to the mound. Cooper has it, runners are held up, they're both at third. Cooper's going to run towards home as they get the runner in a rundown between third and home. Forsyth being tracked back to the plate. Cooper will tag him out for the out. And the Bulldogs cut down the lead man. And the first pitch to Hancock. Grounded right back to the mound. Picked by Cooper on a hop. He'll jog halfway to first and flip underhand. Cooper with a nice couple of plays. The 1-1. A half swing. Simpson went too far on a curve. Actually, that was the two-strike pitch. Pardon me. There's the payoff pitch. Is hit in the air, well struck by Mitchell. Out towards left field, going back is Cumbus. Onto the wall, or onto the track, I should say. Look it up at the fence, and it's gone. Second homer of the year for Noah Mitchell. Of the year. Tullers pitch home, and Lott with the swing and a miss for strike three. Really this inning, the first this year for him. It's the one-two pitch. In there for a call, strike three with a backdoor curve. Pitch home, and that's lined into left field for the base knock. Here comes the one-two. And that curves in for a call, strike three. Nice pitch by Cooper. First time opponent this year for Mississippi State. That's the pitch. Just swung out of his for strike three. Another Frisbee. I should say he's in his first year now. A skull with a humpback liner over the mound and into center for a base hit. So one out single for Skoll in the bottom of the sixth. And the 0-2. Brown swings over the top of strike three. He fans for the third time tonight. And his 0-2 to Crosby Jones. Is swung on and tipped into the glove of Hancock for strike three. Chased one down below the knees for strike three. Behind the count one and two in the pitch. Swung on a miss for strike three. Got him with a fastball up and out of the zone. Logan Tanner was the center fielder. He's now playing first base as he hits this pitch in the air out towards center fielder. Out towards the center field, Jeffrey Brown, the center fielder, ranges to his left to make the catch in medium depth center field. Ryan Giles. Pitch lined over towards second and leaping up to make the catch is De Brule to Rob Baldala of a base hit. To his side, gets the sign. Fires in a 1-2, and it's a looping curve across the outside corner for a called strike three. A two-strike offering, and Skull swings and misses at strike three. The 1-0 to McCarthy is a two-hopper out to second base. DeBrule gloves at the waist, throws to first in time, and KC Hunt has himself a 1-2-3 eighth inning to pinch hit. Mesh goes after the first pitch and rips it into the right field corner, wasting no time. That ball will roll to the fence in the right field corner and into second is Mesh with the pinch hit double to open up the top of the ninth. As the 1-0 is grounded over to third, it's past the reaching Baldala and into left field. Forsyth the board with his third hit of the day. It'll be Drew McGowan. The, the uh, batter for Mississippi State who goes after the first pitch and hits it in the air out to right field. McCarthy will track it down, making the catch in front of the video board in right and tagging up to score his mesh from third. Against his alma mater, the pitch 
is a cue shot to the left of the mound. Glove there by Speedy. He twirls and fires onto first in time to retire the side in the top of the ninth. And the pitch. Lane hits it out towards the left field, falling quickly and down for a base hit. A wide turn at first, but Lane will hold up there with a pinch hit single. The 1-1 is rolled out to short. This could do it. Glove there, flipped to second, relay to first. It's a game-winning double play. Rolled into by Jensen and turned by the middle infield.